All right, guys, Don here from Prana Tech. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, foam wand to go with a foam generator. In an earlier video, I showed you how I made my Aircrete foam generator, and I kind of breezed over how to make the wand. Um, and so now I'm going to show you how to put one together um, with just common pieces from Home Depot or Lowe's. These are common items. Almost anyone can build this. It's not expensive. Uh, I think everything together may have cost $20. So I've got all the stuff laid out and I'll go through each thing that you need and everything um, to put this together so you can make your own foam wand to go with your foam generator. All right, all right, let's get to it. I'll change the camera up so you can see what we're doing and uh, I'll show you how to make it. All right, so here's everything you're gonna need to put together your foam wand for making aircrete. Um, I'll go through each item. This is a uh, 13 to 14 inch piece of inch and a quarter PVC pipe. Um, it's not real critical on the length, but somewhere right around there is about perfect. Uh, I've made them longer and it seems to be too much for the size um, foam generator that I made. So I reduced the length down to about, this one is exactly 13 inches, if you want to make it exact the same as what we're doing here. Um, but inch and a quarter PVC is what you want. I did um, pre-stage a couple things here just to save time, but this is just an inch and a quarter cap. I then drilled it out with a uh, hole on the end. That's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. Um, and the other thing I did was um, it took three adapters to reduce this down to a threaded adapter that I could put one of these uh, push connectors in. What I wanted to do was show you that um, the other wand that I had in the previous video for my generator, I showed you that I just drilled and tapped for the pipe thread on the end. But afterwards I thought, you know, not everybody has a pipe thread tap at home. So I just decided to do this one for the demonstration with uh, adapters that go down to pipe thread. So you can just screw this in, you don't have to buy any special tools. Uh, so what this is, is an inch and a quarter down to one inch adapter. The next one is a one inch adapter down to three quarter. And then the third adapter is three quarter um, down to uh, three eighths of an inch pipe thread. So you do have to have three adapters to get down to this size to get to the thread. So again, that's inch and a quarter down to one inch adapter and then a one inch down to three quarter adapter and then a three quarter down to an internal threaded three eighths pipe thread uh, fitting. And so that is also what you need to buy is one of these. It is a uh, push fitting. It has this little section on the end and it's made for just being able to push in the half inch uh, polyethylene tubing. Uh, people use it for airlines and things like that um, but it has an o-ring down inside and it has basically like shark bite teeth down in there so when you push it in it locks it it can't come out until you push this you hold it down and then you can pull out the hose you can get these at home depot or lowe's i think they're like four dollars or 4.49 something like that anyway you want it with um three eighths pipe thread on the end that's what they come standard for the half inch because we're going to be using half inch uh, polyethylene tubing that you can get right at Home Depot. So I've already threaded this in. You will need some uh, Teflon tape. So here's a roll of Teflon tape. I already taped this one up. Um, and so you just put, you know, at least a couple wraps on the threading of your uh, push-in connector and then thread this in. Each one of these adapters, you're going to use um, some PVC adhesive. You can get this at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, it's one of the most common ones. The Christie's Red Hot is what I use because it seems to be the strongest. This doesn't have a lot of pressure in it when it's pumped up, but it's, it's going to have, you know, 60 to 70 pounds of pressure. So we want to make sure it holds together. 
So each one of these you're gonna you're going to put the adhesive on, glue it in, all three adapters. And then the other piece that I have is just a um, coupler for inch and a quarter. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your uh, PVC glue, you're gonna put it on your cap, and the first thing you're gonna do is glue your cap on. And so this is your nozzle end where the foam is going to come out. Um, the other thing you're going to need is two packages of Scotch-Brite um, pot scrubbers, stainless. You want to make sure you get the stainless ones, that way they don't corrode because we are running, you know, soapy bubbles through this and then water. So if you, I've seen some people use steel wool, well, unless you use stainless steel wool, it's, uh, it's going to rust and be a big mess in there and corrode and then eventually it's just going to rot and be a big mess inside of your uh, foam wand. So get the stainless pot scrubbers and we're going to need six of them so you're going to get two packages of them. The other thing you're going to need is, I just have a file, an old file, but you're going to need something to push the pot scrubbers down into uh, your wand. And so I just happen to have a file handy, um, but an old broomstick handle works pretty good too. That's actually about the best I've found. And so when we put them in there, let me, uh, let me take them out and I'll show you. Okay, so once you get your pot scrubbers unpacked, uh, you can see that there's kind of a hole on either end. They're kind of wound in a circular motion. Um, they're kind of in a ball when you get it. But what you want to do is you want to stretch them out. You want to stretch them out a little bit lengthwise. You can see where the hole is on each end. So what we want to do is stretch them out a little bit so they'll go down inside of the inch and a quarter tube. You're then just going to take your tube, once you get them small enough, and you just feed them in there with your finger. And then just take your stick or whatever you have and push them down. We don't want to jam them down in there really tight we just want them to be um, down in the tube and because what we want is we want the air pockets. Um, all those little air pockets in there are what make the bubbles. And so that um, we want to keep that intact um, and that will help us aerate the foam as it goes through the wand. So I'm just going to stretch all these out, get them ready. And you just keep stacking them up, pushing them down in there. So once you get them all the way in, um, you're just going to put on your coupler. You're going to put glue on this side and glue on this side of your coupler. Glue your coupler piece down in there. And then you're going to glue your adapters that you put together earlier. You're going to put glue on this side and a little bit on the inside. And then glue your adapter down in. And then you have your uh, foam wand all ready to go. And all you would do, if you watch my video on the foam generator, you just take your polyethylene hose and you just press it in and it locks down and that hooks up to your uh, foam generator and you're ready to start producing foam. Uh, this is a very simple design, and it, but it's one of the best ones I've found. I've experimented with a couple others and they were a lot more complex. And this one just works uh, very simply and produces really dense and thick shaving cream type foam.
All right, guys. So that's it for how to make your own uh, foam wand for making air creep. Uh, I hope you uh, thought it was easy because it really is. This isn't a hard, uh, hard item to make. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you decide to start making some air crete. It's a pretty interesting building material and uh, this will produce really good foam for you, especially if you uh, combine it with my uh, air crete foam generator that I showed on a previous video. I'll put a link in the description for that video and I'll also put a link to my other video of me making air crete in my uh, cement mixer, the tread mixer 3000 that I made. I've got another video for that too. I'll put a link for that, how to make your own cement mixer. I especially designed it for making aircrete, so it's a really um, simple design. Um, and it's an easy one you can make for cheap. So I made it out of a 55 gallon drum plastic barrel. But anyway, that's another video. Go watch that if you wanna see it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or anything you were curious about, about how to make this or aircrete or anything else, go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section and I'll answer them. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And uh, hit the like button and the bell so you get notified when I come out with new videos. I've got a lot of new videos. As you can see, if you look on my channel, there's a lot of new videos coming out uh, every week. So. Go ahead and subscribe, I would appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.